so the important investigation that we will learn today is electro retinogram so what is basically electro retinogram electro retinogram is basically a wave pattern which we get due to electrical activity of the neuronal and non neural cells of retina so basically erg tells us about the status of retina can you see these two waveforms this downward spiral let's say this is the baseline okay so this downward spiral has a a waveform and then this upward wave is a b waveform and similarly you get another waveform that is called c wave okay so we have three waves in a retina a wave b wave and c wave basically a wave is a cornea negative wave the b wave is basically from the muller cells or bipolar cells the c wave is due to the retinal pigment epithelium the a wave and the b wave are the most important waves and c wave is an inconsistent incons wave sometime it is seen and sometime it is not seen so basically the electroretinogram is a record of change in the resting potential of the eye when light is shown so basically we can say it that it is a corneo retinal potential okay now sometimes they make a question of oscillatory potential what is oscillatory potential what is oscillatory potential is that sometimes the b wave shows a uh, this type of waveform a uh, oscillating type of waveform when a bright light is shown so this b wave waveform of oscillating type is called oscillatory potential okay but remember few terms here this is called a wave amplitude can you see this area this is a wave amplitude and this one is the b wave amplitude so there are two important points a wave amplitude and the b wave amplitude the latency is defined as the time interval between the onset of stimulus and beginning of the response so let's say this is the onset of the sim stimulus and this is the beginning of the response so this is called the latency okay and the so i define as latency as latency as the time between stimulus and beginning of the response then there is another term that is called implicit time implicit time what is implicit time implicit time is basically onset of stimulus 
एंड द मैक्सिमम रिस्पॉन्स सीन बाय अ वेव सो लेट से दिस इज द ऑनसेट ऑफ रिस्पॉन्स एंड दिस इज द मैक्सिमम रिस्पॉन्स दैट इज सीन दिस इज कॉल्ड इम्प्लेसिड टाइम सो वी हैव नाउ थ्री टर्म्स वन इज द एम्पलीट्यूड द अदर इज लेटेंसी एंड द थर्ड इज इम्प्लेसिड टाइम सो वॉट एवर वेव फॉर्म वी गेट वी डिवाइड द इंटरप्रिटेशन इन टू द मैक्सिमम एम्पलीट्यूड द लेटेंसी एंड द इम्प्लेसिड टाइम सो दीज आर सम इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट रिगार्डिंग द ई आर जी वेव नाउ वी वुड डिस्कस इन विच केसेज दिस ई आर जी इज हाई एंड इन विच केसेज दिस ई आर जी इज लो सो कंडीशंस कॉजिंग डिक्रीज इन ई आर जी पोटेंशियल सो एज आई टोल्ड यू दैट इट इज अ कॉर्नी और एटेनल पोटेंशियल so the conditions like retinitis pigmentosa labor hereditary optic neuritis retinal detachment and sometimes severe diabetic retinopathy in these cases your retinal elements are involved so in these cases you would get an decreased erg potential another important point is that it is investigation of choice for measuring the progression or deterioration caused by a retained intraocular foreign body this was a question previous year so please note it also it is investigation of choice in rods dystrophy like retinitis pigmentosa now conditions that can cause an paradoxically increase in the erg potential these are early sidrosis bulbi then albinism and impending vascular occlusion so why it causes increase in uh, erg that no one knows but these are some findings which can be asked in the pg entrance exam so here we conclude the discussion of